To finish off our app, we're going to make one last important change. We're going to require the user to authenticate themselves using either Touch ID or Face ID in order to see all the places they've marked on the map. After all, this is their private data and we should be respectful of that. And of course, it gives me a chance to let you use an important skill in a practical context. First, we'll need some new state and content view that tracks whether the app is unlocked or not. So start by adding this new property. At state, private var, is unlocked, equals false. Second, we have to add the privacy face ID usage description key to info.plist, explaining to the user why we want to use face ID. You can enter whatever you like, but I'll go with please authenticate yourself to unlock your places. Third, we need to add import local authentication to the top of contentview.swift so we have access to Apple's authentication framework. And now for the hard part. If you recall, the code for biometric authentication was a teensy bit unpleasant because of its Objective C roots. So it's always a good idea to get it far away from the neatness of Swift UI. So we're going to write an authenticate method that handles all the biometric work. That means creating an LA context so we have something that can track and perform biometric authentication. Then ask it whether the current device can handle biometrics. If it can, we'll start the request and provide a closure to run when it completes. Then when the request finishes, push our work back to the main thread and check the result. And if it was successful, we'll set is unlocked to true so we can run our app as normal. Add this to content view now. Funk authenticate. Let context equals LA context. Var error, optional NS error. If context dot can evaluate policy dot device owner authentication with biometrics error ampersand error. Let reason equals please authenticate yourself to unlock your places. Then context dot evaluate policy dot device owner authentication with biometrics localize reason reason success authentication error in. Then if we're here, it's finished. So we'll say dispatch dispatchq.main.async to go back to the main thread. If success, we'll set is unlocked to true. Otherwise, had an error. Then had an else block way down here. And if we're here, we have no biometrics. Remember, the string in our code is used for touch ID, whereas the string in info.plist is used for face ID. And now what I want you to do is move everything inside the Z stack indented by one level, then place this before it. If is unlocked. Then just before the end of the Z stack, add this. Else, and a comment button here. So now all we have to do is fill in the button here comment with an actual button that triggers the authenticate method. You can design whatever you want, but something like this ought to be enough. Button, unlock places self.authenticate, I give it some padding, a nice blue background color, a white foreground color, and then a capsule clip shape. You can now go ahead and run the app again, because our code is done. If this is the first time you've used Face ID in the simulator, you need to go to the hardware menu and choose Face ID Enrolled. But once you relaunch the app, you can authenticate using hardware Face ID Matching Face. That's another app done. Good job.